Well, another problem that's been popping up in Baltimore City, really across the state, is drivers doing crazy stunts and street racing on very busy roads. There's a lot of video of these incidents happening, popping up on social media. One of the bills that passed during the session is aimed at addressing illegal driving stunts. It's now heading to the governor's desk. WMH News' Abby Isaacs is in downtown Baltimore with more on uh, what is could be the penalties now, Abby, for some of those stunts. They're increasing if this bill gets signed into law, trying to disincentivize people from coming out like here at the intersection of President and Pratt Street and just doing donuts, leaving tread marks on the ground and worrying people who are stuck in traffic as all of this is happening. Now, as you just saw, the video is pretty shocking. A lot of people who are stopped at these intersections, when it happens, they just pull out their cameras because they don't know what else to do. They capture the cars blocking off the intersections. They're doing donuts. They're stopping emergency vehicles from passing through. Officials say there's been an alarming increase in these incidents, not just in Baltimore City, but all across the state. And right now, there aren't any good disincentives to stop people. A bill headed to the governor adds deterrence, hitting the drivers in their pockets by increasing penalties, fines, points for their license for violations, and allowing officers to tow any vehicles involved. People in the city we spoke to want to see police be more active in pursuing these drivers. They just started going crazy right here, right in front of the police station. Of course, no police in sight. They have their own guards. I mean, what's, what's, are they taking over the city? Like, what's going on? Baltimore police spoke in strong support of the bill, saying these incidents are a drain on their resources. Now, if the governor signs this bill into law, it will go into effect June 1st. We're live in Baltimore. Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.